So if you all remember last year, Caroline blew the show away with her improv performance, so I begged her to come back again. So she's graduating, she's almost done. She's calling this one Going Rogue. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh my goodness. Okay, well, a few comments beforehand. Um, senioritis, senioritis is set in because literally my notes are the most useless things as like introduction, houseboat. So we're gonna, we're gonna make this work. Okay, um, <laughs> do you ever feel like the sacrificial lamb of the group? Like you're like, all right, I'll do it, I'll do it. And then you get out you're like, ah! <laughs> I'm here. Okay, so anyways, thank you for having me again. I really appreciate the opportunity. Um, so last year I had so much fun poking fun of everyone, but literally uh, I had the worst karma in my entire life. Three days after performing and making fun of people, I like sprained my ankle like nobody's business. And this whole year, my karma has been that of a serial killer in my past life. Like, I didn't do anything, and yet I did everything in my past life. So, with that said, hey softball, how's it going? Are you in the crowd? Woo, yeah, softball, can I get a round? And if it makes me feel better, one of my coaches who only speaks three times a year, he, for every time he's spoken, he's like, Caroline, you need to be as ferocious as those softball players. <laughs> he's your table tennis instructor, so if that like puts it into context. So, anyways, this year's gone by in a flash and super vaguely, much like houseboats, right? <laughs> so, my, uh, the only like recollection of me being at a swim meet is through photographs, just like houseboats. And you know, just as you know, the, the pain of the test sets, like I kind of remember, I blocked those out. But if you play your cards right, you don't need to get tested after houseboats. So <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't, you know, Toomey's gone, so I can say what I want. Just kidding. Um, so personally, like as my season progressed, it was it was pretty rocky. Again, I tried, but it's the karma that kind of came to get me. Um, literally, my 12-year-old self that didn't do anything beat my times that I did this year. So it's fine. I need humility or something. But it's on the plus side. It's kind of fun when your athletic career mimics that of like. Uh, like Kiki Palmer or Lindsay Lohan, their musical careers. You know, you have a homie in the struggle. So, but if I'm being honest, though, shout out to men's basketball, right? Carried us on their backs. Can we get a little shout out? The only, okay, three representatives. But, you know, for all the other athletes that struggled this year, um, it's okay, because, again, they carried us on their backs. But I feel like it might have been a heavy load, which explains, you know, why they needed more recovery time, and I never saw them in class. But it's okay, it's okay, because honestly, they did a homie a solid. Next item. But if for those that did struggle, like, respect, um, we can't say the same for others. Like, we sticked it out. We, we we smiled and just kind of carried on but you know with that said not not quite not quite ernesto not quite okay <laughs> cutting me off homeboy okay but with that said can we get a special round of applause for teresa gould our new interim ad she stuck it out she did not abandon shit on houseboats she would have been you know captain for life okay but, okay, to get the, to the whole premise of this, I'm actually speaking to you more of like a PSA because now when I'm graduating, well, from, I'm graduated from swimming, I've had a lot of life experiences, for better or for worse, and I feel like some of you might benefit from them regardless of your sport, with the exception of golf, because your life is perfect. But, um, so, when, when the former swimmers come to pool deck, they're like all idealistic and they're like, oh my god, you're gonna love the real world.
world? Well, let me tell you, no, okay? It's kind of harder than they think. I go to like an employer and I want them to ask about my swimming career. And I'm like, oh yeah, I was a collegiate athlete. But things get weird when we start to talk about the breaststroke. It's like, oh, I don't know. I'm not sure if I wanna work for you. <laughs> Or, or, you know, when, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, when, when they do come back and it, they never tell you, you're supposed to like change your customs and social etiquette. But I, I mean, I've never done it. So I'm learning, like I was, my groin got really tight the other night and I was like, I gotta fix this ASAP or else I'm gonna be Charlie horsing in this movie theater. So. I like I throw up my leg and give it like a little squat, little bend into it, ease into it, and I got it looks like I was the she devil. But and but the, but and then I was like, okay, you guys are so rude. Like obviously my groin's tight. I'm not trying to like do some sort of dance for you. But then I realized context is everything. So you can't stretch your groin in line for a movie. So that's that's something. Um, Another another issue that I've had, this is like testing, this is more of the patient's cord of mine. When when you strike up a conversation with a rando and they're like, oh my god, you're a swimmer in college. Oh, I'm hearing this all back up. You're a swimmer in college? One time, I think it was after, oh god, I was 11. I did summer rec for a year. Oh my god, my arms hurt. I'm like, tell me more. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How is bouncing homework and all of that? Like, oh my god. Like, so hard. Oh, tell me. So I'd imagine it was the same for other sports. But, okay. Moving right. So, and also, I can't wear weight clothes anymore because it's very obvious. Like, I'm bingo. It's like my bingo arm flab. And I'm like, yeah, like, I didn't do my, my, what do you, what do you, what do you this one? Um, I haven't done that in weeks, so. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Okay. Uh, you know, so for other sports, play it easy. Play. Be I should be directing my attention to the judges. Um, so, for men's soccer, right? You know, their I believe chant, and then it's the, you know, it's like I believe, I believe. I just, I just don't think that it would be helpful to them anymore in the real world because you would, uh, you know, be escorted to the quad and be like, oh my goodness, e e like, you're also very religious, like, thank you, like, <laughs> let's, let's find your, so it's just like, it's all about context again, like, you don't want to give the wrong message in the real world. Uh, for football players out there, right? Uh, there's no unlimited swipes in the real world. None. None. You could try, but it's for your own good. There's no unlimited, you know, like cardiovascular health and everything. Um, and then, the, on the good news is that for both men's basketball and for uh, men's water polo, there are hairdressers in the real world. So, you know, the chlorine is an issue. Um, I'm still recovering myself. So that's always great. And then lastly, uh, in the real world, people don't really care about your problems as much as you would like them to anymore. Like I've approached um, like athletic looking young individuals in collared shirts and been like, my shoulder hurts, my shoulder hurts. And I'm like, wait, they're not a trainer, Never mind. So you gotta, gotta make sure that you're speaking to the right Aggie individuals. Long story short, we are very blessed to have going, you know, going into the real world as an Aggie and not a gaucho, so all's well. But that's it. Thank you. And I'll be studying at uh, Bistro later tonight. If you need the funniest picture or video of an athlete. First nominee, Armando Quesada falling into the goal. Softball face plant. Softball face plant. <laughs> They're like wet team, our favorite. The pole vault. Oh. <laughs> 
Back of public. Beat him. David Spires. <laughs> All right, who won? What do you think? Caroline Weston. Yeah. 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 That was in so many ways. <laughs> Next category is the most inspirational athlete. The first nominee, one and only Marcus Johnson, track and field. Chris Schultz, men's soccer. Taylor Jern, women's soccer. <laughs> Carlos Tokini, women's water polo. Chris Schultz, men's soccer. Got one more coming out. The best team picture. Women's gymnastics. Anyone here? <laughs> All right, there you are. <laughs> Softball. Track and field, right here. Women's tennis. Ah, uh, it's women's tennis. Where are you at? Anyone? We have two of our men's basketball.